Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims 3 North Star family, our supernatural legacy family where we have some pretty awesome magic going on in Sleepy Hollows, an absolutely amazing magical town where the North Star family has settled in for generation two with their mini, mini, mini magical children. And we are here with the heiress of the family, Ariel, and she just woke up in the middle of the night wearing her three llamas howling at the moon t-shirt and wanted something to eat. So I was like, oh, what? I sent her up to the kitchen when we could just have Ariel conjure herself up an apple to eat. So that made more sense to me. Uh, she has some opportunities to complete. She wants to go to school, wants to earn a new title, has one more day of being on the honor roll. She wants five friends. She wants to hang out with her mom, which tells me she's into science at the moment. Yeah, let's have her conjure a few more apples. She's really close to being able to level up in magic. There you go, sweetie. We might even have you convert these apples. Who knows what you'll get? But yeah, so there's been a few changes to the household. Oh, there goes Gina. She's going to snooze. Rest well, Gina. Rest well. There's been a few changes to the household. As you know, we have Mortimer Goth's clone, Brian. And he's being well taken care of by his nanny right now. Our wonderful mummy nanny. And then we've got Darian, who is brooding by staring out the window. Um, and we're going to have Darian actually get to work upstairs. I'm going to send him upstairs for now. I want him to go make some elixirs, so he's going to go mix up some elixirs. But in just a minute, if he has, I believe we have extra death flowers. So I'm going to have him come over here, and we need to transmute something into gold. So an object must be placed on the Philosopher's Stone to transmute into gold. So we're going to try out the Philosopher's Stone for the very first time. And I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I think it'll be fun. So we're going to send Darian up here to do that. But I have just sped up the aging on the whole neighborhood. So we're down to normal aging patterns, which means Darian needs to whip out another one of his elixirs of youth if he wants to keep up with his fairy wife, because he is actually only five days away from aging now so i think i am going to have him drink an elixir of youth so that he can kind of age down but if i can figure out how to do it i'm going to have the elixir of youth only be half useful that's going to be my rule is the elixir only takes care of half the amount of days that it used to every time you use it so like the third time he uses it, it'll only go to like three fourths the way. So he'll only have a fourth of his adulthood left. And after that, it may not work anymore. So, you know, I don't want the elixir to give make him totally immortal. And Gina actually will age up in 73 days now. So she's still gonna be around forever. The boys are still off at their, their um, boarding school. Hey, where are you going? No, don't eat the leftover. Oh, she loves mushroom omelet, though. She really does love mushroom omelet. Okay, I'm going to let her eat the leftover mushroom omelet. It's her favorite food. I forgot we had some. Eat leftover mushroom omelet. You're fine. I'm going to let your dad go upstairs to mix some potions. And Izzy, how are you doing? Izzy never ages up, so she's fine. She's good. Brian, are you better? Do you know if you're better, Brian? He's a little tired, so let's put him let's put him back in the crib, let him snooze. And Izzy wants to clean the dishes Aww. in the household, so we're gonna let her clean house. There's some clothes on the floor. If I, when I was a nanny, like you get in the habit of like it can't be on the ground, you have to clean it up. But yeah, by putting the family Oh my gosh, Safina! Safina devoted and Mr. Monster just had a new baby. Also, I know why Izzy just threw that on the ground, because you're in the way. Go outside. Naughty little gnome making it so we can't do our own laundry but yeah so safina devoted and uh mr monster just celebrated their first child which is a pity because izzy was kind of interested in mr monster but i guess it's just not gonna happen all right so what should i do with you sir we need more smoky quartz for the liquid jaw booster which i keep wanting to give to gina uh, is that death fish? No, it's a vampire fish. We don't have that one either. Vial of potent enlightenment. Uh, let's make a few of those. We have our emerald. We have red toadstools and any mushrooms. I like vials of potent enlightenment. We can give them to our wonderful daughter to make her a genius. That would be awesome. All right, the cats are doing much better. They don't have fleas anymore. So it's coming over here to scratch at things. But yeah, oh, see, she's so happy because it's her favorite food. That's adorable. But yeah, what I'm hoping is by 
speeding up the aging we can start making things happen i'm used to playing sims 3 now i love the family i've got a good feel for it now this was my very first sims 3 family and we've been playing them for almost a year so i'm ready to get the generations moving and grooving <gasps> she just sent a little piece over to storm look at that oh my goodness oh storm look at you you get to eat a little piece of, of mushroom omelet ariel that was awesome Yay, and Darian just mixed three vials of potent enlightenment. Um, what am I going to do with you, Missy? Going to let you clean up and then research science. Then I'll send her downstairs to secretly research science. Her dad it wouldn't be too immensely pleased with that, but it's totally up her mom's alley. Um, can I actually send her over to like use? Oh, <gasps> I can. She can use her mom's machines. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have her do that. Why is she- oh, she's disgusted from a smelly sim. Ew, did you get, like, thrown up on by the baby, Izzy? Jeez Louise. Uh, don't take a brooding shower, though, because she's just going to get everything so messy with her water that she drips everywhere. So we're gonna send her up- oh, Darian? We're gonna send her upstairs. And try not to leave her alone with Darian too long, because they- they tend to flirt. Alright, and then we'll check- because Darian, approaching elderhood, I'll have to dig out one of his potions. Use a vial of potent enlightenment. Ooh, okay. Wouldn't mind doing that. Cast a conversion spell on a frog. <laughs> I think he's thinking about all those frogs he caught. Okay, there she is. All right, Izzy, we're going to cast the hygiene charm on you. That's how you bathe your mummies, guys. All right, let's cast the hygiene charm on her a few times. And let's go ahead... I'm going to use the Vial of Enlightenment. Cast Charm. Then we're going to do Hunger Charm. Cast Charm. Hunger Charm. There we go. Now our mummy's not stinky anymore. I guess we only need to cast one Hunger Charm. It works very well. And let's do a Good Luck Charm. Just to wrap things up. There you go, Izzy. Now you're not hungry anymore. Can I have you? Oh, look at all that rainbow. That is so cool. I think the whole house is clean then. Because we don't have a little a little thing to use. Alright, so let's come down here. All the way down to the basement. In her free time, Izzy likes to be a sculptor. But she also likes to try to find romance. So let's send her over to the computer again. She does a lot of online fishing for, for people. Uh, and let's just have her chat. She kind of has a long-term friendship thing going on with Hishiro and Nakaruma. So we're going to let him, them talk. Alright. You, ma'am, are going to, like, die of hunger, but you're a fairy, so I won't worry too much about it. And now Darian. See, he's by attractive company. No, that's your nanny. That's not how that works, sir. Now Darian, I need to get a death flower in his inventory so i know that he's safe um there's some links that's for potion making and let me see what do we have down here that we could work on we have some mandrake root of normal quality well i can i can i convert it i could put it on the ground i could put it here that seems like a really low level thing to like stick on on a freaking philosopher's stone there's a diamond. There's an essence of magic. There we go. Here are our lettuce. So let's come over here and we'll convert a couple lettuce into maybe something. And then put the lettuce on the Philosopher's Stone. And I also, I think that actually Gina is the one with the death blossoms in her inventory. So let's dig those out. All right, Gina, where are your death blossoms? There is a frog. And actually, Darian does want to count, like cast a convertible spell on a frog. So I'll go ahead and get the frog out. And that's the ginger. Where's the death blossoms? Did I put them somewhere? Ah, there's one. All right, death flower. Putting it in Darian's inventory. Perfect quality. Just in case he dies. <laughs> so we have backup. So hopefully that'll prevent him from dying. At least that's what I've heard. All right, Darian, let's send you over here. Conversion ritual, conversion ritual. In fact, I should... You know, this would be the kind of thing where his daughter should come up and help him out. 
Create a vial of bliss. Improve logic skill. She does want some friends, too. Ooh, what do we have going on here? Rhinoceros beetle. Let's see. Oh, oh no. She's, she's like, she wants to research a scientific sample. She's being pulled both ways, as usual. All right, so let's see. We've got moonstone. Not bad. Um... Let's see, we've got a rhinoceros beetle. Let's try converting that buddy again. What do you think, Darian? And it looks like we have another bloodstone, which is pretty cool. Oh, now it's an unknown rear seed. All right, well, let's pick that up. Conversion ritual. Conversion ritual. Conversion ritual. This is what Darian does at night, is cast a bazillion conversion rituals. Anything happen? Oh, there we go. It was just taking a second. All right, it's another seed. I see it. There we go. I love this rainbow thing we have down here. I love how he can like convert so many of these. All right, let's pick it up. Is it a rare seed? Yeah, it's another rare seed. Yay, and our plants are blooming. All right, doing good there. And it's a cockroach. Hmm. I wonder how the gold thing works. How the Philosopher's Stone works. Uh, let's go ahead. Can you can you convert a cockroach? That seems kind of anticlimactic as the very first thing to try out the, the Philosopher's Stone on. I don't know about this. Transmute gold. Well, let's give it a try and see what happens. If it can't work on a cockroach, I'm not sure what it'll work on. Maybe I should put a lettuce there, or a mandrake root. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look at it, it's like a little floating plum bob thing. We need a better background for this thing other than cat toys. <laughs> ah, Darian, I'm flying around the place. Okay, hang on, Darian, I'm coming. Oh geez, why does it have to be so hard to get just the right picture? Oh my gosh, it just looks so funky donkey over here. We'll have to redecorate this area. That's what I have to say. No, help, help. Photographer Siri and the, the camera are fighting. No, get away from me, get away from me, little door. Okay, there we go. All right, well, that's as good as we can get it, I think. There we go, gonna have to live with it. All right, so can we convert this cockroach into gold? I feel weird that we're trying it out on the cockroach first thing. <gasps> No way! Oh my gosh! Eureka! Darian Northstar has just accomplished what most great alchemists can only hope to achieve. He has successfully transformed an everyday object into pure gold. He will always remember the day when he first realized that the shimmering in a pool filled with golden bricks might not be so far off after all. No way! We really did it! Are they all worth the same value? Okay, so they're worth different values. Oh my gosh, yes! No way, okay. It looks like it's a different quality of gold. That is so interesting. Darian! So it can be anything, and it's kind of a good thing we chose something that was worthless. Okay, well, let's scroll down and see what else we have kicking around. Well, and he also wants to cast a conversion ritual on a frog. So, I need to stick this frog somewhere. Let's just put it on the ground there. I guess it's like a fish out of water. Little frog. Nope, don't no, fire blast it, Darian. Jeez. Don't put it in your inventory. Cast spell conversion ritual. There we go. Man, he really must not like frogs if he wants to fire blast them. That's hilarious. All right. What? What do you mean it didn't work? The point of having magic hands is so that your spells almost always work. Come on, cast a conversion ritual on the frog. That's better. There, see how happy he is? He made the frog into yogurt. That's fine. We can just dry the yogurt over here. Transmute gold. So it's not quite the big money maker I thought it would be. Because for some reason, you know, you think if you have the Philosopher's Stone touch, it's super duper powerful and you can just start like piling the gold up everywhere. There's a chance he could turn himself into gold. We can also give him the Philosopher's Touch with the, um, with the potion. So we might try that. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, 
code here. Um, Darian? Whoops. That's not fair. It was a pile of yogurt. That shouldn't have... <gasps> Why, Darian? Why? No. No, Darian. Look at him. What have we done? Darian? Darian? Uh... Uh... Oh. Maybe we should do things a little bit more legit in terms of earning money to make our, our empire. Because I, I heard that this thing was a little dangerous, and... Well... Okay, Darian, this is your first death. Don't panic. Um... Whoops. Oh, boy. Oh, Ariel, hang in there. I know this is a very alarming situation. Okay. Um... The death of another sim. The ghost? What? What's going on? Darian, no! You had a death flower in your inventory! Darian, what? What? His mortal remains are here. Oh my gosh. I thought we were, like, prepared. I thought we were, like, defended against this. Oh, the cats are crying. Oh, Gina's heartbroken and terrified, and she wants to go search for other fairies to, like, console her over the, the brief mortal mortal time of, of people. Ha! Ah, yes! Yes, no way! We gave death a flower, so this is how this works. I've never seen this before. Oh, he likes the flower, huh? Okay. Okay, so we gave death a flower. Noted. All right. Oh, 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 are we gonna be- are we gonna be alive again? <gasps> We're alive again! Yay! Okay, so that's how that works. We just traumatized our entire family. Aw, oh, Darian, that's so sweet of you. I need to hurry home and put this flower in water right away. I know just the right vase. Okay. So, good to know. Good to know. We're alive again. Darian, hug your wife. Like, kiss her. Reassure her everything is okay. Um, like, romantic. Give her, give her a huge kiss. Give her a huge kiss. Um, heat of the moment kiss. Hug your daughter. Let them know everything is okay. You know... Look at her- Oh, Gina! Gina, no! I'm sorry, Gina. I know this is a lot for your cowardly nature to take on. It's not science-y. It's not... Not... Oh my gosh, she's totally- No, don't you go anywhere, sir. Oh, the baby needs taken care of. Oh, jeez. Okay. Izzy, Izzy, baby, Izzy. Stop social media -ing. Who knew that we'd have like a social media savvy mummy, nanny? And come down here, change the dirty diaper, and give a bottle, and play with the baby. Darren, you stay with your wife. Like, that just isn't good right here. Oh, oh, and Daphne and Eddie. Eddie Munson! So, uh, Zelda's old boyfriend, Eddie Munson, just got married to Daphne. From the Scooby-Doo crew. Well, that's something. Wake her up, wake her up! Oh, Izzy, I'm so sorry. I know that was really traumatic. I'm going to, like, have Darian give you lots of kisses now. No, come over here and speak with your wife. She's probably really upset. Uh, romantic. Heat of the moment kiss, and then let's cast a hunger charm on her. Because she's about to die of hunger. At least she has a death flower in her inventory. And the good news is we have this giant statue. I wonder if it's worth something. 
There you go. See, we're gonna be okay. She's gonna like pee her pants soon too, so you give her lots of like let's let's cast some charms on her to to prove to her look, magic isn't isn't all bad. Don't go anywhere. You can go to work in just a minute. I hear the crying baby. We'll take care of him too. Well, that kind of backfired a little bit, but it was very exciting. Did it reset your life, I wonder? Nope. He's right back to where he was. Alright, Toby is moving in with people. Oh, they got married. Gina, I will get you to work soon, don't worry. Okay, Gina, stop. Don't go anywhere. Hang on, Darian, you need to cast charms on her. Uh, cast the bladder charm on your wife, please. And then cast the hygiene charm. And then we're going to send her off to work. Because she's late for work. And that's going to really hurt her performance. But, you know, her husband just kind of turned into a golden statue and died today. I think she can be a little bit forgiven for that. It's okay, sweetie. I know you've had a lot of magic for the day. But it's going to make you feel much better. Alright. All right, Ariel, are you off to school, Ariel? She is indeed off to school. What a day. I'm going to have her talk to her friends because I think she needs some, some socialization after this morning. I can see how that may, that may actually affect her pretty seriously. What if she decides to turn to science after this? Because that was just too much. Just too much to deal with. All right, I'm going to have her... Search for fairies at the Airborium. Oh, look, she wanted to resurrect him for 10,000 lifetime points. Oh, and she wants to mind meld with her husband now to kind of like get what that was all about, I think. That is adorable. Oh, Gina. All right, let's send you to work. Poor thing. There, so that should be better. Darian still wants to own the venue. So that brings up the question of how much is his statue worth? <laughs> It's not exactly the most elegant pose in the world. Not the most flattering. <gasps> 50,000 Simelonians! That was worth death. That was worth death. Oh my gosh. All right, we survived. That was 50,000 Simelonians. So, ironically, that worked out better than if we had just been converting gold. Because now we are much closer to being able to get this venue. So the brouhaha for 117,000 Simelonians is our goal, you guys. So we're a lot closer to Darian getting his goal. <laughs> Just what a morning, he's died, you know, and now that time is sped up a little bit, he might need to be a little bit more circumcept about those things, but uh, otherwise he seems okay. So good, good, there we go. Did good, good for you, Darian. You're not, you're not like continuing to be dead, so we're good. Um, I think the royal purple butterfly we actually need to use in something. So, and that's a shark. Apparently there's a shark named Nestor. And a batfish. Bye, Gina! Have a good day at work! Sorry for having alarmed you terribly. Very first thing in the morning. Goodness, I don't think the family's gonna be very deeply appreciative. Oh, we got invited to a party. The writing club is pleased to see such efforts you have made to learn to write. I bet I bet she had some good poetry this morning. You may have the future as a writer. Your school performance increased as well. There you go. So Ariel is doing great. Proving that even with family drama, she cannot be thrown off of her desire to work hard at school. And Darian, I think I think he's brooding about uh, about his actions. About how like it was terrifying, but worth it, because now he may have enough money to be able to open up that venue. We just need to do a few more things. So we might start doing the more traditional elixir selling instead of trying to go the cheaty shortcut routes. <laughs> so let's actually look into which elixirs would be worth the most. We'll do that really quickly. And then we'll set Darian to trying to sell a bunch of those at the consignment store. So let's go down. Origin of the Tragic Clown, if we found a missing tragic clown fish. So, hmm. And of course, the Wish Enhancing Serum and the Midas Touch. You know what? I will admit, I'm a little bit curious. Why not use one of our Midas Touches next? Why not try it out? 
Mm, we could attach a bunch of things and turn them into gold. What do you think, Darian? I think we need more death flowers before we start messing around with that. All right, you guys. I will see you next time. Darian has survived. I was really worried for a second that the death flower didn't work. Um, but the good news is we got the statue and sold it for a ton of money. So we'll just continue working on that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.